What's going on YouTube? Stealing Likes here and you guys have caught me once again hand in the cookie jar out here trying to snatch me some likes. To Tonight, bring you guys another doubled up ranked randomizer. As I got the numbers 16, 30, 17, 26, 41, and 23, which translates to Lantern, Ferrothorn, Scolipede, Gourgeist, Lucario, and Weavile. Now you guys have never seen my Lucario before. It's obviously not Mega Lucario because everything I run is OU legal. And I believe that Standard Lucario is OU legal, but... I'm going to hit the challenge button as I talk over a couple of things, such as, for one, very, very few special attackers here, as Lantern, I believe, is the only... Actually, Ferrothorn probably packs some, some special attacks, now that I think about it. But, going against some, somebody from Japan, now, a lot of concerns here. They bring... They brought Blaziken. Blaziken, Tyranitar, Raikou, Rotom Wash, Kingcar, and Staraptor. Now... Looking through a lot of this stuff, I want to bring Ferrothorn, but it's obviously not the lead. A strong part of me wants to lead with Lantern, as it is probably my best bet for the Blaziken. Actually, I know for a fact that Lantern's my best bet for the Blaziken. And Blaziken or Raikou or Gengar will lead. It'll be one of the three, in my opinion. Now, looking at the Gengar, part of me wants to bring Gower... I'm going to bring Gowergeist. I know a lot of people are thinking, what would you possibly bring Gowergeist for? Gowergeist has answers. Now, who? Lantern, Ferrothorn, and Gowergeist. That looks really strange. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. So, that is the team I'm going with. I'm going to hit the confirmation button. My opponent already picked. So my opponent's not even threatened by my team, which is probably all bad. However, let's see what we got going down here, as my opponent's clearly going to toss out a lead, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping beyond hope that it's Blaziken. That's what I want to see lead. It's Rotom. So, two electric water types in his leads. I'm going to set up... Actually, hmm... I could go for the Scald to try and burn this thing, even though I guarantee this thing is going to handle damage way better than my Lantern will. I'm going to set up an Aqua Ring. I mean, I really don't want to go anywhere. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp. So, I guess he's going for burns. Now, or like burn for damage, obviously. Clearly he went for a burn. So I take the burn damage. Aqua Ring happens before that, so it's not going to go into play this turn. Going for the Scald, now he puts up a light screen. It's a utility Rotom. I like it. I don't know why he burnt, though. Just residual damaging, I'm guessing. So, clearly not effective, but I do get the burn on the first hit. So, the hack's really coming in for me right there. As this Rotom is now taking equal damage to me. He is outspeeding. I didn't really notice it until right there. Now, part of me wants to keep Lantern around for a while, and the neutral Volt Switch is probably my best bet. I'm going to go for the neutral Volt Switch. He's probably also going for the neutral Volt Switch. Oh, he just hard withdraws, so he's not packing a Volt Switch here. Clearly not going into Blaziken. Who does he go into? He goes into Gengar. So I know he's got Rotom, I know he's got Gengar. Rotom actually isn't the biggest threat, considering that Ferrothorn is back there waiting for things to happen. Now, Gowergeist is going to be outsped by this Gengar more likely than not. So the idea here would be to... Ah, Gengarite. Good to know. The idea here is that I am going to go for the Pain Split up front, and then after, uh, after he hits me with like a Shadow Ball more likely than not, I'll be at one hit point due to my Focus Sash. I'll pain split for a huge chunk of health back, and then I'm going to go for... He does not go for it. So I don't even know if the pain split's going to do damage. It damages him, clearly not me. Now, that burn is going to break my sash, which is highly unfortunate. So, not wanting to withdraw the Gower guys due to the fact that I don't want Lantern in on this fight. I'm going to go for the Priority Shadow Sneak to get off as much damage as possible before Gower guys goes down. 
because Gowergeist is probably going down right here. He goes for the Hex. Ew, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So Gowergeist goes down with little to no fight. Ferrothorn would bode much better than Lantern here, more likely than not. But I don't want... I don't want Ferrothorn burnt. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for Ferrothorn. As much as I don't want him burnt, there is a mischance. So, that's really my best hope. Which is kind of bad, now that I think about it. Going for the Shadow Claw. Now, he puts out a Substitute. Now, the Substitute's obviously dead here as the Shadow Claw will do plenty of damage to kill it. Now, this Gengar might not want to stick around after seeing that. In fact, well, I'm still going to go for the Shadow Claw. I'm not going to try and, and out-predict myself here. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp, which I was waiting for. Now, Ferrothorn going to go down hard right here. Ugh, can't get off much decent damage with that. Now, yeah, I was going to say the burn just completely nerfed my ability to deal with this Gengar. He is going to get off another hit. It's probably a Hex, which is going to be neutral. I don't think it'll kill, but it's going to do a pretty hefty chunk of damage. And then the burn might kill. So, he does go for the Hex. I mean, one, 110 or 130 stab power. I don't recall which, but that Shadow Claw hopefully is the end of this Gengar. It is. Gengar goes down. Now, a huge change from whenever I started playing this game because, like, right out of the gate, whenever I was playing, I was always afraid of Gengar just due to how fast and strong that thing is because it's a special attacking nightmare, in my opinion. I mean, right next, uh, behind Alakazam, who's also a speedy special attacking nightmare. Toss, tosses out Blaziken. Now, I mean, that's obviously not exactly what I want to see. Ew, this is really not what I want to see. As I know that Ferrothorn's dead, I know that Ferrothorn's probably not going to do much against the Rotom. Ugh. But do they predict the switch? They do know that I've got a Water-type Pokemon hiding back here. Do they think I let this go down for the safe switch? Or do they expect me to swap it? I don't know. So due to the fact that I don't know, I should probably go for the Gyro Ball and just leave this thing in. So really my best bet. I'm going for it. Now, Ferrothorn is dead to any attack. There's a sword stance. There is a sword stance. I didn't, I wasn't too terribly sure if it was going to get off a sword stance there or not. But the gyro balls resisted, so that really wasn't the best play on my part. Hmm. I guess I could have gone for a neutral something, but the stab was just so tempting. It was so very tempting. So clearly, Blaze can speed boosting here, and it's going to kill me on this following turn. Now, I mean, I'm going to go for the Resisted Gyro Ball yet again. Goes for the Earth... Why the Neutral Earthquake? Huh. Oh, it's got a Neutral Earthquake. Lantern is as good as dead. So taking the first loss that I've seen in days, right here, as there is no way in the world Lantern lives this. I mean, if Lantern lives this, I will be above and beyond shocked. Now, going for the Scald, obviously, it's my only play. He goes for the Earthquake. Now, the Earthquake is going to do a ton of damage. Yep, that takes out Lantern. So, like I said before, take my first loss that I've seen in days. Now, wow. Didn't expect a neighbor to be... Oh, they're probably just doing their alarm. Anyway, so I go down 2-0. Ugh, I knew I didn't... I knew I didn't have a lot of things going on with that team, but it was a fun battle nonetheless. I learned a couple of things. Now, make sure to stick around. I'll be back in about five seconds with battle number two. Already hit that challenge button. We're going to see if we can get maybe a 1-1 going tonight. As the first battle, a lot of Pokemon that I just didn't want to see. <laughs> Not Okay, so we're going up against another player from Japan, this time with a higher rating, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, okay. We've got Scizor, Lucario, Dragonite, Tyranitar. Wow, I just completely blanked on Chandler and Whimsicott. Now, Whimsicott, obviously a problem. I want to bring Weavile, but I know that Whimsicott can kill it, unless this is Stallwall Whimsicott, in which case I'm not going to be a happy camper with that. Now, 
Tyranitar Ferrothorn seems like a pretty good matchup for me. I don't have a lot for Lucario, though, as I don't think anything packs an Earthquake on this team anymore. Yeah, I don't have anything for Lucario, but I'm, except for Lucario, and I don't know that they really want to go with that. They'd probably much rather bring Scizor. Scizor, Scizor and Lucario can both be Megas. Huh. I don't know if Ferrothorn's packing anything for that Scizor. I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. So now it comes down to... Gourgeist. Gourgeist is coming this time. Weavile or Lucario? It's really the only question. Because it's going to be Gourgeist, somebody, and Ferrothorn. Not leading with the Gourgeist, though, so... Weavile would do terribly against Tyranitar, would do great against Dragonite. However, seeing the Weavile, do they bring Dragonite? Do they bring the Dragonite? It's probably multi-scale Dragonite. They can't be that scared of Weavile. I'm bringing the Weavile. Bring the Weavile, bring the Gourgeist, bring the Ferrothorn. Now, question of the day. I haven't done this in a while. Question of the day. Let me know what you think about my choices on team selection. Would you have done something differently here? As these last two matches, I know I had a couple different options. What would you have brought out? Especially anybody who's watched this channel quite a bit knows quite a few of the different nuances with the Pokemon that I've got, different things that I've trained them towards. So make sure to drop that comment below. They lead with Chandler, which is like the best, worst thing on the planet. This is probably uh, Scarf Chandler. Now, Scarf Chandler would outspeed Weavile. If it's not Scarf Chandler, it can be dead. I'm going to fling my Poison Barb. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to find out if this is Scarfed or not. Because that's going to just really not help, actually. He goes for the... Okay, so it is Scarfed. He goes for the Flamethrower. It's a dead Weavile. I already knew that. Now, next up on the block is Gourgeist. However, since this thing is Scarfed, I'm just going to go for the Pain Split. Sacrifice off a whole bunch of damage. Yep. I guess I could have Frisked have found that out, too. <laughs> now, just going for the Pain Split straight out. Since it's outspeeding, I'm going to be able to do a huge chunk of damage to this thing on the following turn with the Shadow Sneak, as long as it doesn't burn. The burn is the only thing I'm really concerned with here. I mean, unless this thing has way worse off hit points than my Gourgeist does, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Now, let's see what we got going on. Ooh. Ooh, that Gourgeist... He's not going to get a kill. I don't see it happening. So, I mean, I brought the huge fire weakness out here. So it was a risk I, I knew I was taking. Going for the priority shadow sneak. This is going to... It's going to hurt its feelings, but I highly doubt it's killing anything. It kills! Wow! Wow! I really want to damage calc that to see how much of a likelihood that was. As Gourgeist has... Tied us back up, although clearly my opponent had an advantage due to the fact that they know how to deal with this Gourgeist, I'm sure. I don't know that they brought anything else for it, though. Scizor. If Scizor packs any bug stab, it's got it. And Scizor, not going to outspeed, but definitely going to enjoy hurting my Gourgeist's feelings. So let's see what comes out next. Ah, oh, I shocked my opponent. I like it. <laughs> they didn't expect that kill. So next up we got Dragonite. More likely not multi-scaled. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not even worried about damage at this point. First thing I want to do is go for the Pain Split. Because I know Dragonite, I think Dragonite's got hit points for days. I don't. So the Pain Split would help. However, part of me also wants to Trick or Treat. I really want to Trick or Treat. I'm going to go for the Pain Split, though. I have to get damage off first, because multi-scale is going to really reduce my ability to hurt this thing. I'm faster. I should have known that. So, they Dragon Dance on me. Clearly, because they aren't afraid of me due to the multi-scale. Because I could pack anything, and multi-scale Dragon, I really doesn't care. Now, the next question would be... No, I'm just going for the Trick or Treat. I'm going to do that. 
Why am I going for the Trick or Treat? Unsure, because... Ferrothorn should be able to handle this thing unless it packs Flamethrower. It packs an Outrage. That's dead. That's a dead Gourgeist. Does not have defense to handle that. And it doesn't have hit point bulk because because it's Tiny Geist. I like Tiny Geist more, actually. Now, especially with the Pain Split. Oh, you're Life Orbed. So, Ferrothorn coming in. Now, I obviously know that they don't have the things that I was worried about right there. I'm going to go for the neutral Gyro Ball due to the Dragon Dance. It obviously stuck in Outrage, and it's not going to enjoy getting off a resisted Outrage that causes them damage. Wow. Okay, I was going to say, clearly that is way more damage than I was expecting. Way more. As a crit, just really hurt my feelings. So, the Gyro Ball, going to hit, going to hurt, going to kill. Uh, we crit each other. Now, I'm sure that Gyro Ball... Being a crit really mattered, actually, because I was... I don't think I was in anywhere near a range to kill it. I was probably, like, 20% off. As in total damage, 20% off, not as in 20% chance to kill. Now, Scizor's got this in the bag. Scizor has this in the bag. So, I feel like my only hope is hoping for, for hacks which is terrible. I hate hoping for hacks. As Scizor is not that much faster, and it's steel types, the Gyro Ball doesn't matter. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. It's neutral. It's not going to get many things done here. Now, Scizor... Mega Scizor is probably going to go for a U-turn. A neutral U-turn. It should do enough to kill. It does do enough to kill. The barbs are going to hurt it. However, I go down 1-0 in this one. So the first double loss in a while to end my win streak. Hopefully I can get it started back up tomorrow night. But I hope you guys enjoyed these matches. I will see you all tomorrow for Subscriber Sunday. Until then, have a nice night.